today we are going to talk about metrics, analysis, and action. So in the United States, we say there's only three things, there are only three things that are important in real estate. What do you guys say here? What are the three things? Right, okay. In our business, it's about metrics, metrics, and metrics. Okay, that which is measured can be improved. I say it all the time, drives people nuts. Tom Peters said it in 1982. Lord Kelvin said it, you know, the Kelvin thermometer, right? Said it. Edwards Deming said it. Lots of people say it constantly. It's really true. So we're going to start with metrics. The first thing is ask the right questions, right? What's my website trying to accomplish? What am I trying to do here? Which are the top one or two, just a couple of metrics that will tell me whether or not I'm succeeding and failing? Let's not get this complicated yet. Right? And what's the biggest threat to my success? Let's talk about competitors. Right? How do I know if it's getting any stronger? How do I know if I'm in trouble? So, SEO Moz, we answer those questions. What's my website trying to accomplish? I'm trying to sell pro memberships. Easy. You have the same one line answer. Get that boiled down. Which of the top one to two metrics would tell me whether or not I'm succeeding or failing? Well, for me, it would be an increase or a decrease in completed goals. It'll tell us what we're doing. All right, so what's the biggest threat to my success? And how would I know if it's getting any stronger? Well, for me, that would be gaining or losing traffic to the sign-up page. That's my key landing page, right? Sign-up page. Got to get a lot of bodies in there, and I've got to get a lot of people to say yes. Also, if I just decrease traffic to my site in general, that would be a trouble ticket. Okay. So let's get deeper now. And that's all very well and good, but you can't really get any metrics going on this stuff yet. So I would need increased organic traffic, right? stuff I don't have to rent, if you will. That's what pay-per-click is. I don't have to rent it, pay it by the click. Right? I want those things on my learn SEO type queries. People type that stuff in, I'd better be there. Branded term searches, if they're looking for SEO Moz, absolutely, I want lots more folks who know my name already and look for it. And I want some member engagement. Those guys of you who are already Mozers, you know about UMoz. That's where you can submit articles, and they get reviewed, and then the best are published, and other people can comment on it. There's a discussion that goes on around it, and so on. That's all about UMoz. There's a lot of stuff that goes on in UMoz. Okay? And on the blog. We publish the daily blog. Sometimes it's even two publish, you know, blogs a day, and so on. But we get a lot of comments on it. I want to see engagement in there. And I want to see, of course, signups. So now we're getting a little deeper into what I want to get. And even deeper. We have this globally recognized brand. We have this community. Now it's 300,000 folks. Right? So they come for the latest on this SEO info. I can't afford to slip on either of those two. I have to keep my brand large. And I have to make sure this KPI means key performance indicator. Right? I've got to keep that brand large because they're defining qualities, my unique selling proposition, my USP, right? And it's my strong advantage over competitors. Other competitors don't have a blog that pulls in people with the same kind of power that SEO Moz does. So I've got to keep that going. So the key performance indicators that I want to track now become clearer. You see how we're drilling down from way 30,000 feet all the way down to the three feet level. I want to get more referrals from links to our resources, OK? So that's things like blogs, UMAs, Q&A, the questions and answer stuff, things like that. Um, annually, we put out a report on the uh, ranking factors. I want stuff coming into that. Right? That's a qualified lead. I want more traffic for people who are researching anything about SEO. I want more UMAs submissions. I want more of you guys to be sending me articles to publish in UMAs. It says you are seriously engaged and that you believe that SEO Moz is a good place to stake your reputation. Because if you publish something at UMoz, you know how many other people will be reading it. That's what I want to see. I want to see more blog comments. Right? Increased blog comments means everybody's not just reading the stuff and going, yeah, yeah, well, OK. But they're getting involved in it. They're talking about it. They're arguing the points. They're discussing what's going on. Okay? Improved engagement metrics on the site. So I have to see every time you do something on the site, not just you saw it. Higher sign-ups, absolutely, the attempts, and the completions. Now let's take a look at the negative key performance indicators that I want to track. Decline in branded term searches. Fewer people searching on SEO Moz, I've got a problem. Oh, by the way, guys, I know some of you are like, you know, taking notes wildly and taking photos and stuff like that. Don't worry about it. You can get the entire deck 
um, just uh, email me after this and I'll give you my email address. And you're all welcome to it. Okay, a decline in organic traffic to any of those resource pages. That would be a problem for me. It means somebody else is beating me out. Okay, and a decline in the time spent on the site. If you guys are regularly coming in and spending between three and five minutes on my site and suddenly you're only spending 30 seconds, I've got a problem. You're not finding what you're interested in anymore. Okay, so decline is different than the initial benchmark of what people are doing on your site. Okay, and a decline specifically by the UMAS members. It means we're losing our current base. So I would worry about all of those things. So let's choose what to track. Look for your key performance indicators. By now, the wheels should be whirring. Right? By the time you leave here, you should know how to do this for your own site or sites. Right? Follow the cash backwards. Right? There are some people who gave you money over here. They put money in the bank. What did they do? What did you do right along the way? Right? Those are the indicators you want to see. Did they first show up? Uh, let's take a look at something by Expedia. Avinash Kaushik. How many folks know Avinash? Excellent, okay. The rest of you, go read his stuff. Uh, Occam's Razor, excellent uh, blog. And Avinash is an analytics uh, expert down at Google, and he says that he was working with Expedia. Expedia thought that when people showed up at their website that they ought to convert. So do I. I think that's pretty cool, right? Everybody agree? Yeah, good. But people don't do that. They show up, they check it out, they come back, they do it again and again and again. This keeps going, right? And after somewhere between five and nine visits down at Expedia, somebody's going to buy something. It took a long time. The sales funnel was longer than they expected. Okay? They increased their conversions hugely. We're talking about 30% or more over just a few months when Avinash said, put a safe session in there. Because I'm going to come to India, and I'm going to come to Mumbai, and I'm thinking about it. And maybe I will, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll go down to, I don't know. No, I think maybe I'll go to Kashmir. No, I might go somewhere else. Okay, but I put in a few things, so I'm thinking about it. Next time, I've got to start from scratch again. All right? If I put in something about an airline, but I'm thinking about the hotel, I've got to start from scratch again. It takes me way too long. Then the dog barks and has to go out for a walk, and the kids need some help with the homework, and the telephone rings, and suddenly I'm back to square one. Save my session. Boy, did that move things along, okay? Think about those things on your own website. Keep an eye on the competition. What are they up to? Absolutely. Competitive research is the key thing in analytics or anything else in business. It's wonderful. Know what your playing field looks like. 